Hello, my dear listeners. Uh, this video today is going to be a silver update. Uh, please uh, uh, take this information uh, as a information well uh, for educational purpose only it's not to be considered as an investment advice and please like the video if you find this uh, information relevant okay so I'm going to start uh, with the silver chart here uh, well I uh, just uh, something that I, I noticed and I would like to uh, share like you know last time that we had the COVID dump here uh, we had the dump uh, about 29% uh, and then we enjoyed 162% uh, uh, rally to the highs of about $30. And okay, uh, again today we have uh, so far almost 30% uh, down. I'm, I'm not telling like, you know, by any mean that this is the bottom, but if you can see that we are testing, uh, you know, we, we kind of, you know, bouncing a little bit of the support but I, I think it can uh, drop even further to uh, easily probably to 18 low 18 dollars uh, levels okay uh, before we find the bottom and and uh, well I, I I noticed that the silver before like you know the, uh, has a run if, if I if I go I have to go very very uh, you know long time to see the the silver rallies here uh, well we can see the rallies uh, here th that was uh, after a 53 uh, percent dump uh, back in uh, 20 uh, 2008 uh, just before I, I came uh, to uh, precious metals market I came to the precious mar metals market uh, during this rally uh, you see that started uh, in November tw 2008 and uh, we, we enjoy here like a hundred twenty percent rise to eighteen dollars silver, and uh, um, we had of uh, like you know the, the our big big rally here where uh, silver uh, made hundred eighty four percent gain in uh, in uh, thirty five weeks uh, period. Okay, so basically the just what what. I, I would like to notice like bef before silver rally usually we well it's like you know if we, if we, if we look back to the uh, COVID dump and to this rally here in, in uh, 2008 um, we had a sharp uh, decline before so maybe it's uh, it's it's all uh, positive so uh, now uh, the article I'm gonna link you know about the physical sales that are dropping basically i think the retail demand it's uh, it's taking a little bit of the pause here but it's still uh, despite that sharp decline in uh, eagles gold eagles uh, sales in june and silver uh, we have um you know us mint sold 700 33,000 ounces this year uh, compared to 563 ounces sold uh, in the first half of 2021 so compared to the last year we probably I would say uh, 15 uh, 15 percent uh, up compared to the last year and well I agree with the analysts here saying uh, that you know because the basically uh, mm, the market are markets are declining Investor has less uh, purchasing powers and uh, uh, the premiums are high. So I, I totally agree with that. Uh, now there is two videos I would like you. Uh, well, I, I, I recommend uh, there is Rob from um, Silver Gold Pros. I follow his report, but this one I particularly recommend where where he talks about uh, silver derivatives. We're not and joking. And it's what's in going with the office and the stories? Well, I I, f I found is a very uh, important information. If you uh, silver investor, uh, precious metal investor, or you uh, planning to become, uh, what he's he's sharing in in this uh, video that I gonna link link uh, is is very important uh, data about who's controlling the derivatives market and how and and it's. Uh, he use he using the government report to uh, make his statement so it's um, uh, it's very legitimate observation because there is a uh, lots of well, well from my experience there is a lots of um, you know um, 
kind of and verified information and rumors that we see and I uh, develop kind of immunity to not believe anything about we statistics even we see about the precious metals because like you know that's how it is in environment uh, it's very obscure so you cannot trust uh, anything uh, even from the official sites but uh, still uh, I would pay attention what is disclosed in this report and next uh, one is um, Andrew McGuire, yes, on uh, some uh, interview. Ramping up exponentially. And the over-the-counter derivative structure currently enveloping um, well, all recently driven upside price breakouts in gold and silver is very close to impro imploding and going nickel. And this brings us on to the China factor. The, the building friction over Taiwan notably ex escalated following China issuing the US a red line not to cross. We kind of touched on this last time. Yes, that's uh, I, ag I agree well uh, with this uh, part of what he's saying about if there is a uh, um, you know escalation uh, tensions between the US and China uh, because of the Taiwan which is you know highly probable uh, event uh, I th I think they the uh, there is gonna be that, that how like you know the, the China is gonna retail rate, they're gonna weaken the US uh, dollar and they have a mechanism to do that so uh in this uh, case you know the having uh, billing will be uh, uh, very important because i i don't i cannot even Im imagine how uh all the you know paper in investments uh, stock market and uh, bonds and um, even uh, you know uh, paper um, silver and gold gonna be reacting to uh, attack on, on on a US dollar if, if it's if it's uh, if it comes from uh, China and well some like you know uh, about this report of Andrew McGuire uh, I've seen him um, at least five six times coming like saying there is uh, uh, you know he's very knowledgeable of the markets and he has some insight uh, but uh, he's been mm, like you know predicting that there is a uh, always um, like you know somebody's taking all the delivery uh, there is so uh, low inventories and uh, there is going to be huge shifts and I seen him uh, saying that like at least like, five times in, in the last 10 years and uh, but in you know but uh, maybe so, so one, one day he's going to be right f for sure uh, but it's uh, something to f follow and uh, that's uh, everything I would like to share for, for now and thanks for watching and please comment.